Now, uh, Riley then, I guess at some point, decided to drive out to uh, Eric Zelaya's great-grandfather's tombstone and says, I pissed on the grave but didn't take a picture because I don't want it used against me in court, which I, I assume is just a joke, but whatever. And then posts like a Pokemon Go thing. And I mentioned that I... um. Because uh, Riley really wants to get involved in this because he's a fat mongoloid. I mentioned that I got the little detail about whose headstone it was wrong, as if it fucking matters if it's his grandfather or great-grandfather. So Dick decided to go through me talking about him, talking about the rip of her shit, and pick it apart line by line for uh, 13 minutes and expose me as the neurotic fraud that I am who cannot get a single fact straight, who lies to my audience continuously, telling them that Isom is his grandfather's name and not his great-grandfather's name. And so I have decided that the best way to respond to this is to, of course, play his reaction in full and go line by line over that. Uh, let's begin, chat. Y'all go maybe. Y'all go maybe. Let me show you how to scratch it. Thirteen minutes. Thirteen minutes sped up. 2687 percent to fit it under 30 seconds chat that's what we're that's what we're doing um obviously i don't give a fuck this is all bullshit um and dick is uh, desperate for attention i don't know why he's like 40 years old he's been in la for like 20 fucking years making pitches at this point he should not be vying for the attention of me in particular uh, so much that he's going to dedicate like a third of his show to, <laughs> to combing over Maddie to, to find weird tidbits that I get wrong. As if anyone could ever possibly give a fuck about whose tombstone it is. It's in his family. That's all that matters. Someone visited its family's tombstone, whose significance is to the comic because it's named after him, to try and intimidate Eric July or aggravate him or something. And obviously that's not okay because that's fucking weird um the only thing that i'll respond to is this nobody on the forum did shit like this to uh to people yeah and okay taking a picture it, it's not funny it's the, <laughs> it's the reason it's not funny you're That's right it's not funny the reaction is funny i mean who's a professional comedian <laughs> <laughs> who is currently Okay, so his response to that, to me telling him it's not funny, is actually, it is funny, because I'm a professional comedian. Because I've been doing this for 40 fucking years. I'm now a decrepit old man grip keeper, and I've been doing this for 20, uh, for as long as you've been alive. Therefore, I get to declare it funny. Vito, however, makes a, a blunder here. Obviously, I'm checkmated by that masterful comment by Dick Masterson, also known as Juju the Cow. Uh, Vito Gasaldi, Christopher Gasaldi, the pedophile, decides to blunder, fuck up his whole operation, and counter it with this. <laughs> who is currently podcasting okay. to a thousand people who... He... Dick, Dick laughs extra... Act, act, acts extra hard to that, because he realizes the mistake of his pedophile uh, co-host at that moment. Because you see... Apparently, and Vito, I thought the entire time that Vito was the one who's listening to Maddie for Dick Masterson's benefit. Apparently, it's Dick that's doing it himself, because Vito would know if he was actually clipping my shit that I I stream more to more than a thousand people when I do my lives, um, which I I try not to brag about, but in this instance. Um, Dick, despite having apparently $30,000 in monthly income from Patreon, streams to an audience of like 200 people per day. But he, Vito was very proud of that. He thinks that's a very successful metric. Well, far be it for me to rub my dick across Vito's face, because if it's just a dick measuring contest in terms of numbers, I, I think I have you beat. Maybe I'm more of an authority on what's funny than Vito, according to his own metrics. Though I'm not a professional comedian. I've never raped a child in Hollywood, so I don't get to decide that. Um, and then finally, the Patrick Tomlinson segment. 
uh, Tomlinson says on uh, on Twitter, little, tiny, insignificant baby child. No, it is you who wears the ball, though. The rest is pure fantasy, child. Enjoy prison. Actually, never mind. Let's rotate it again. <laughs> Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.